What we would like to do is go over the pump assembly of the Prospera Pro 2 and also the Pro 3. The selection of the pumps is based on two things. Basically, how much drainage does the wound have and how mobile does the patient have to be. The Pro 2 has a self-contained 250 cc canister that easily slips off by clipping the tab on the top. Pull out straight, no rocking, no twisting, just pull out straight from the canister and the canister will disengage. The tracks on the bottom will help slide the canister in until you hear it click. Assembly of the Pro 3 starts with the application of the ring holder on the side. You'll notice grooves in the back as well where the ring can be attached in the back to hide the canister. By placing the canister on the side, you will attach the external filter, which is, has a one-way valve. So you have to make sure that the blue side goes to the blue facing of the pump and the white side goes to the white lid of the canister. On top of the canister lid, there are directional pictures that show you that this spout goes to the patient, this spout attaches to the filter. This is the pour spout, so you need to make sure that this lid is closed to secure your negative pressure system. This completes the assembly of the Pro 3 the gray canister ring, the canister, canister lid, and external filter. Should the canister lid become detached in shipping, it can be easily assembled by attaching the internal float valve. The internal float valve is what is lifted as the exudate reaches the 750 cc marker. The float valve lifts and it shuts off the pump. So in shipping, should this become detached, these three small teeth very easily snap into the top lid. This is the solidifier to help the secretions gel. Make sure that the lid is well attached to prevent leakage. On top of the canister lid, you will note that there is a cover spout when the canister is full and going to be discarded. You'll need to make sure that you cover the spout to the patient. The float valve will shut off the valve to the top so the canister will not spill the exudate from the inside. On the back of the pump, there's a groove where the bed holder slides up to the top and it can be attached either to the bed rails or to an IV pole. One of the safety features that sets the Pro 3 apart from other negative pressures on the market is inside the blue casing here is an internal filter or a dual filter system that is patented specifically to the Prospera series of pumps. This is the external filter, but inside should gaseous vapors or liquids pass the external filter, the internal filter on the inside prevents contamination of the components of the pump as well as cross-contamination between patients. On the display screen in the lower left hand corner you will see the battery indicator. If the unit was plugged into the wall on its external AC adapter you would see the prong icon in place of the battery indicator. The Pro 3 also comes with a carrying bag which can be carried over the shoulder or attached to a wheelchair.